Good day, Wonder Nurses. I'm Nurse Anne. Today, we will answer different exam questions during my review. I will share to you the answer and I will do a short discussion. Let's start. Question number one. The correct answer it's letter A, conductive hearing loss. Renate test is a procedure done using a vibrating tuning fork to assess hearing loss. Initially, it is placed on the mastoid process behind each ear until the sound can no longer be heard. This is to check the bone conduction. Next is placing it from the ear canal and inform the patient to check when the sound caused by the vibration stops. This is to check the air conduction. The normal result is air conduction is louder than the bone conduction, which will give them a positive Renate test. Atosclerosis. It is a rare condition where there is an abnormal bone growth in the middle ear. The result of Renate test to patient with atosclerosis is bone conduction is louder than the air conduction. So the result is negative Renate test and an ear condition called conductive hearing loss. Question number two. The correct answer is letter C, pericarditis. Systemic lupus erythematosus is a chronic systematic autoimmune disease that causes inflammation and tissue damage. The most common cardiac manifestation of patients with SLE is pericarditis. Key manifestations include butterfly rash on face, migratory pain, and swelling of joints. Diagnostic test is anti-nuclear antibody or ANA. It is the most sensitive diagnostic test to confirm SLE, which will show a positive result. Question number three. The correct answer is letter B, full thickness burn or the third degree burn. It involves the epidermal, dermal, subcutaneous layers, nerve endings, muscle, and bone. It is painless, dry, charred, and broken skin with exposed fat. If you want more discussion about burn, myasthenia gravis, and guillain barre syndrome, you can check the link in the description below. Before we proceed, please don't forget to click the subscribe button below to keep you updated to our latest videos. I really appreciate the support. Let's continue. 
Question number four. The correct answer is letter D, heart failure. Pre-renal causes include any factors or condition that leads to decreased renal perfusion like congestive heart failure, liver failure, hemorrhage, hypotension, or renal artery stenosis. Next is intrinsic or renal causes. This include any diseases that lead to severe direct kidney damage like glomerulonephritis or aminoglycoside toxicity. Lastly is the post-renal causes. This include any condition that results in bilateral obstruction of urinary flow like ureterolithiasis, BPH, and urogenic bladder. Question number five. The correct answer is letter B, temporal lobe. Temporal lobe injury, it causes impaired hearing and speech. Parietal lobe injury, it causes difficulty with spatial relationships and sensory alterations. Frontal lobe injury, it causes problems in reasoning, memory, and concentration together with changes in personality and difficulty in speaking. Lastly is the occipital lobe injury, which causes vision disturbances. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned and understand something. If you want more videos, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.